Hi there folks, I hope you're doing well. So today we are going to be talking about ADHD or like ADD. Um, the difference is that um, attention deficit hypertrophy disorder is ADHD and ADD is um, just the attention deficit uh, like a disorder. Okay, so what is ADHD? Um, I basically, it's there's two um, types. There's um, like a difficulty in a concentration, and there's also the hypertrophy and the impulsive. Okay, so um, some facts. Um, what was it uh, for you? Um, ADHD is more like often say diagnosed in boys, um, and it's more higher diagnosed in the boys than girls. Reason for this is that the boys are more disruptive um in their behavior um so was it kind of emotionally and stuff no um you can find more on this on the national um health uh, website um it says that um children are like the earliest that they can be diagnosed is around about six years old um but it's when it's further up i want to talk more about um how we can they spot the signs of ADHD um, and then we can help our kids. Um, so I reckon, <clears throat> what was it that uh, Rebecca has AD, ADD? Um, sometimes she is hyper, but not all the time. So the main signs are having a short attention span. That's for one. Um, so like in about half an hour, um, I have to do some homework with her. Um, which will probably take only about five minutes to do <laughs> because of her attention span. Um, and she is easy, easily uh, distracted, making careless mistakes, um, appearing forgetful or losing things, uh, being able, unable to sit to the task, um, time consuming, um, consistently uh, changing activities. Um, having difficulty in organising a task, being unable to sit still, especially in calm and quiet surroundings, uh, fidgeting, um, uh, uh, being unable to concentrate on tasks, excessive talking, she talks a lot, uh, being, a, uh, being unable to wait her turn, yeah, she can't wait her turn a lot, acting without thinking, mm, and interrupting conversations, um and the last one is um <laughs> it's not her really um it's little or no sense of danger she is very aware of danger <clears throat> so she takes a point of view um like of them <clears throat> what do we do to help her because it's okay knowing the signs but you really need to know kind of strategies and um so one of the strategies that we've kind of uh, taken with uh, rebecca is um now she's like a five and a half she'd be six at the end of july and awards like a systems are really really good <clears throat> so in order to kind of you know, make her more aware of her behavior that we don't want to see or, or if she's too hyper and that we kind of give her like awards and ads so she needs to earn them so she's got something called like brownie points but you could call them whatever yeah it's a system that we have and it really works and she she will get them um no matter what so <clears throat> in her eyes what well, i'll say it, like if she lost one that could set her off it could you no know, trigger you know what was it i won't say a meltdown but a, a big tantrum um so we don't use like the old-fashioned consequences um that there are consequences but they are very very little um so that she she doesn't have this um big tantrum and she's got sometimes it's a meltdown you know but it's very rare um so brownie points um are used for you know the way that she, uh, she behaves around the house um what was it we're teaching her not to interrupt a person when they are talking 
and stuff like that. Um, we use sleep points um, to get her to the bedroom and we have a routine with that. So what was it? She, she's allowed to have half an hour. Now what you could do, you could use timers or you know, something. It depends. Like she's quite good when we say it's time to get to sleep. Um, and the usual kind of thing of um, I don't want to, you know, and everything is just a typical kid really but she can sleep she will sleep all the way through um so that's what we do and it and it seems to work really well i'm very clear uh with her i give her clear boundaries um and sometimes was i think because unlike say matthew was it with his autism um you no know, she's more demanding than Matthew so even though we have to you know do personal care with Matthew and everything and we have to you know assist him with a lot and you know playing with him and stuff she takes up more time um which is absolutely fine but it it does mean that we have to and like when I'm on my own what is it I have to kind of make sure if I'm doing something with Matthew that she knows that next I'm going to you know, play with her and that but I have very clear um I won't say rules but say boundaries and you no know, personal space and that you know as well and just really you know a fits and clear um very specific you know things that she knows they're not rules but they are say boundaries and that um so yeah um i want to talk really about um the superpowers and that um our kids have got as well great imaginations um i thinking outside of the box and that um so i think seeing what you know, your child is very good at um it's I think sometimes we look at the negative and we don't look at the positive. Um, there's a, a guy, an ADHD dad, who I'm following on TikTok and now on uh, YouTube. And you now I'm watching his um, newer uh, diversity um, you know, channel. Um, what can we learn from our own um, a newer a diversity um, autistic and ADHD? The kids and um i think you know being creative having that you no know, kind of mindset of, like yes i can do this it's so good so you no know, was it let's use of what they got let's use that imagination let's take time to really get to know them and if they are shrouded then then find shrouded of these there's loads online and that uh, or you know, talk to like myself or someone who um, say knows about it. We may not have the answer, but we may. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Um, I did a longer video of this, but I decided to keep it under 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, I've got another video which is going to come out um, tomorrow. Hopefully it's about dyslexia. Um, and so yeah, I will hope to see you there. Please uh, do like the video. It helps the channel and that. And also subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you uh, tick that or press that bell button to all notifications. And then that will give you a notification when my video is out next. Um, I try to get, say, new videos out every other day if I can. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, folks, take care. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. Bye for now.